Hello, everybody. You know, in this day and age of worldwide anxiety, our own worries tend to make us forget many things. In our everyday business of living, loving, planning, working, getting and spending, we are apt to forget that there are others less fortunate than we. Now, here are some of them. You find these pictures boring, perhaps. We have lived and are living in grim times, and for that reason, perhaps, our reaction to such things tends more to sympathetic platitudes than the urge to give practical help. After all, it has not happened to us. It is someone else who's suffering, and what can we do about it anyway? Well, we can do a lot if we choose. Even in countries themselves devastated, the urge to help has inspired millions of people to do something, something in the name of the Red Cross. Oh yes, the war is over, but the wounded still fight long, lonely battles against pain and tedium. This man has been here since 1918. Medical science can perform many miracles for the body and the mind, but it cannot meet such needs of the spirit as friendliness, creative interests, encouragement, and all those thousands of simple things which mean so much in the life of a human being. Red Cross service is a personal service, and the people who give it feel that way about it too. The social worker is a good listener, for her job is helping people to help themselves, to solve their individual problems, personal, domestic, or occupational. Such worries can be endless nightmares in the dark, or simply milestones on the road back. Learning to live with a disability. It takes courage and help and guidance. Helping people to find new skills, new interests and independence. That's this girl's job. Whether one is an ex-service patient or a civilian patient, the days can be long in any hospital. No, these jobs are not dramatic, but they are an important part in the lives of a lot of people. And if you were the patient in that bed, you would consider them very important, too. So does the Red Cross. But if you must have drama, here it is. These bottles of blood are being rushed 200 miles because someone was unlucky enough to be standing in the place where an accident was scheduled to happen. The blood was given to the Red Cross blood bank by a voluntary donor. Red Cross now gives it where it is needed. And another name is added to the list of thousands who owe their lives to the way some people feel about a little ideal called neighborliness. Meeting a need, perhaps a small need, perhaps a big one. But it's a vital matter for someone. These young infantile paralysis patients come from the country to the city for treatment. Red Cross cares for them so that they may have every opportunity of recovery. Youngsters here are healthy, but someone had to look after them while mother was in hospital. And for mother, a welcome convalescence before taking up again the infinite worries of running a home. At eight o'clock in the morning, Red Cross aides and drivers set out on the insulin round taking vital injections to sick or elderly diabetic patients who can't go to hospital. So they bring the insulin to the patient 365 days of the year. No, oh, there's no glamour about these jobs. Washing dishes, making beds, minding children for sick mothers, assisting in health campaigns to combat disease, accepting one's share of community responsibility, lending a hand where it is needed, these youngsters of Junior Red Cross have the same idea. Service to less fortunate children. International friendship and tolerance. These are the things they discover in Red Cross. Take a look at them. They will be important people. Good citizens of the world. But what of other countries? Red Cross is international. And here too your society works for the cold and hungry abroad. 
food and clothing for Britain in millions of tins and thousands of cases, and warm clothing for the children of Europe. Sewing, mending, darning, packing goes on week after week, month after month. Why? Because there are still people who find time to remember something which was said long time ago. I am my brother's keeper. That is the spirit of Red Cross. A spirit of service, regardless of class or race or creed. Every year, thousands of people turn to the Red Cross. Once a year, the Red Cross turns to the people. From the warmth and goodness that is in each one of us, let us give all the help that we can. We all have many neighbors.